Hi guys, Roman Goose here, and we're going to be talking about speakers and filmer sound amps. I've had this question quite a lot. People have been asking me, you know, what speakers do I use? So I just wanted to put this out here once and for all and let you know what I've kind of got experience and um, what my experiences have been in regards to speakers. So um, we've got two filmer sound amp amps here, both by, made by the amazing, great Bill Crenard from the, uh, the founder of Two Rock. Um, this one over here is a 6v6 model and this is an EL84. This is a 1950s, this is a 1960s. Bill Crenard actually had to do a lot extra work on this particular one, which was made in Japan. In the 60s they were made in Japan, but it's EL84. It's a beautiful, beautiful sounding amplifier. So um, this is running at 240. This is American voltage, um, hence the sit down transformer. Now I'll do a full sort of um, video on my whole rig and really go into details in about three weeks on the guitar show. And then I can tell you all about how I use this wet dry, the wet dry sort of method and and also um, using my special Goose Master device, which splits the signal and does a few other things as well. But we'll, we'll get to that in the next video on the guitar show. But for today, we're just gonna be talking about these cabinets that I've got. Now, with a 6v6 model, I, I tend to like a one by 12. That's kind of always what I've really favored with that particular amplifier. So if you've got a one by 12, I used to have a Celestian Type A, which is a very cheap speaker, kind of a very um, jack of all trades, and that kind of worked really well. I think a cream back, um, you know, Celestian Blue might really work in low sort of volume situations, but um, <clears throat> is it cream back, I think, are oh, very, very good speakers. Anything kind of Celestian really works well. This, however, is a different speaker. I've uh, got to keep it a little bit secret because I still need to buy another one. And, you know, if I let the cat out of the bag, I probably, they're quite rare and they're hard to get hold of. So when I've got the other one in three weeks time, I will let you know exactly what that speaker is. But it's kind of the best speaker ever. <clears throat> I think that works with that particular amp. Over here, we've got a four by eight. So this is them. It's got um, four eight inch um, Jensen or Nico speakers. So it's kind of what, what, what I do sometimes, and this is in a really amazing sound, is I run the 6v6 with um, two or one of two rollers, 15 inch speakers I have. Okay, and this is a 60s roller speaker, it's, it's got a ribbed cone with a um, an Alnico, Al Nico, bigger, slightly bigger magnet, and these were found in old organ units in the um, 50s and 60s, I, I, from what I know. I've got an older one, which has got a smooth cone, slightly smaller magnet, and that's also really sweet sounding. And I sometimes use that, but that that can kind of, that combination of 115 and a four by eight is it's quite an immense sound and that can work really well. Um, and here I also, in the future, I, I will be using a two by 10. So this kind of amp pushes two by 10 or a, four by eight that's kind of what it what it normally runs with but also what else it does is it lives in here um which is it's a pretty rough sort of case which i make up and this is for traveling gigs this is for traveling on the underground in london where i, I just have one guitar and i i put a handle on this obviously and, and i just take this one i think i've done a video on this and and i just carry that and that's got my film of sound and the 10 inch speaker at the back because normally the, at the back they have an 8 inch our Nico speaker. This is an original one, but they don't sound too great. They can sometimes sound a bit tired, a bit tinny. So as, as is the case with this one, this doesn't sound great. So I put a 10 inch, which is slightly bigger, same our Nico, and I'll let you know what that is um, soon, because that's another sort of hard to find speaker, which I really love. Um, and uh, And that's how I run, that's how I do sort of, gigs where I'm just jumping on a train or something. You know. But otherwise, if I have the means, or if I'm driving to a concert, then I'll generally take the two amps. And this is kind of the rig that I'm using. But so really, I think if, you're, if you've got a, a film of sound, just experiment with speakers because this is the thing about them. They take, you know, four by eights, um, 110, 210s, 112, and 115. And they just take them really, really well. If you have two of them, and they don't necessarily have to be two of the same amps, 
because these are different. You know, this is a 6v6, this is EL84. But if you have two, then you can mix some speakers and get the amps pushing different speakers to make a really beautiful sound. And that for me is what really, where these really work well is when you've got them pushing two different um, cabinets, you know, speaker sizes and stuff. So that's just one thing, you know, I've had a few questions about this and I will reveal what these speakers are. That, they, well, these are Jensen Amnico 8-inch eight, eight speakers and that's a roller. So that's kind of a little tip. I really, these are really cheap. The rollers are really sweet sounding with the film of sounds. And, you know, sometimes those Jensen's are hard to get and they're expensive. So, you know, check out the rollers. Also very, very good speakers. Um, and, um, yeah, you might just want to run one 10-inch speaker, though it will sound good. You know, a film sound with one 10-inch does sound good um, and has ample bass. But, obviously, if you have the means, then, you know, if you're mixing and matching, then it can really sound a big, big sound. So that's the rig. I'll go into more detail on the Guitar Show channel, and you can check that video out in a few weeks' time. But until then, God bless, guys, and Happy New Year.